It's the first day back to school since January. The new semester starts nearly three months later than usual for high schoolers in Wuhan, and with many changes: shoe sole disinfection, temperature checks. Back to school season this year is different than any before it, all because of the coronavirus pandemic. These approaches are the basic guarantees of our study, so of course I can understand that. We've been having online classes at home, and now it's exciting to be back at school. Even the flag raising ceremony has been moved indoors to avoid mass gatherings, and the first lesson is to teach students control measures and contingency plans to keep them safe while on campus. We can see each class has been divided into two smaller ones to make sure each classroom has about only 25 students kept at least one meter apart. And here are some epidemic prevention materials at the door. Also, each class has a spare classroom in case of any emergency situation. If any student shows an abnormal body temperature during class, the rest of the students will be transferred to the spare classroom. The ones with fever will be taken to the observation room, and if the temperature is still high after rechecking, our epidemic prevention staff will contact the community to send them to a hospital. The school has prepared a sufficient amount of protective equipment, and has conducted thorough disinfection, which will continue for some time. After classes begin, the school will be closed to the outside until the end of the school day. Students will have their lunch in classrooms with food delivered to them. Teachers and students have all passed the CD screening, nucleic acid tests, and antibody testing. Only those who tested healthy can be admitted to the school. As for the first batch of students in Wuhan to resume classes, they are facing not only the pandemic but also academic pressure. In just two months, about 36,000 high school seniors in Wuhan will take the college entrance examination. We will definitely improve the efficiency of in-class teaching to be precise and concise. Teachers should not just teach class, but should do careful pre-class research and focus on the main problems of students, so that students' questions can be solved and training will be more effective. Our students and their parents are full of confidence in the college entrance examination. Given the improving situation, other primary and secondary school students in Wuhan are likely to successively return to school in the near future. Authorities will continue to put safety on the top of the list to ensure that hope and confidence return more and more to the community. Feng Yilai, CGTN, Wuhan.